All right, hello there, guys. This is ZG Techie, and in this video, uh, I recently faced this problem: Java LNG uh, runtime exception unable to instantiate activity component info. And I just fixed it by one of these methods, which I'm going to explain in this video. But you can use any of these methods, whichever works for you. I'd be happy with that. Okay. So, um, yeah. So. All right. So the first thing I would like to say is that those who are having this problem, first of all, check if your intent code is properly written. Okay. So it just starts with intent, name of the variable, equal to new intent. Then uh, this, that is the object, comma, the other class where you want to your activity to go. Then then start the variable name again right and then again you should remember the activity that you're including uh, for intent should also be mentioned in your manifest file and the ideal way is something like this right all right so that's first thing second thing if you are using google library then make sure you also include the google library in the manifest with the ideal way which i've mentioned in my blog as well if you want to read all this and you know deploy all this you can go through my blog but I will be saying something extra uh, which will be useful for you in this video as well right now if your activity is trying to start an abstract then also you can get this error I look for the same I don't need that needs any explanation but if it starts any abstract class then that's again an issue and you need to fix that check you if you have included all the libraries right that means if you have checked all the libraries in the properties or uh, uh, right you just need to check that and if you have included all the libraries if you have checked all the libraries that's not the issue okay next in action bar sherlock library project i added android support v4 r7 google maps dot r to the build path okay and once the jar was added to the build path, I had to change the order from the, uh, Java build path order and export that. I had to set the jar to the first item in the list. It was the last after the source and gen items. Get rebuild the project, redeploy, clean the project, okay, and then it works perfectly uh, in a fresh install, okay so it would it would work but you need to uninstall it again after two three two three times and reinstall it again like this right so this is again again another example where uh, things go wrong and hopefully google will, will fix it soon right next you need to understand that there are some small things that android app developers forget and i don't know this may be asked in interviews also uh, your image views your any kind of views right you do not have to define your views before on create do not define them there you can declare them there but you cannot define them don't define them there that in itself creates an error right next you need to set layout okay and save instance state uh, in your code so sometimes even i forget uh, if I have included the right layout or not sometimes I do not use the right layout and that again creates a problem so check if you are using the right layout if you have named the uh, layout properly if you are using the same in your class right and check that include on create bundle save instance state and then if nothing works do a project clean rebuild your project or create a new project <laughs> that's all I can say okay if you have any more doubts, any more problems, please comment below. I'll try to sort them out. Please subscribe to this channel because I'll always be adding videos, sorting your out, sorting out problems and sometimes even interesting videos. Also, don't forget to check out my app, CSV Viewer Plus Editor. This is a very uh, cool app to read and uh, edit CSV files and i just included it and i'll be adding many more functions in this right this is a very demand i will really check the link in the description below to check out this app right thanks for watching i hope 
you like this video please like subscribe thanks for watching